everyone. Who wants some chips? So I was asked by one of my filmmaker friends if I could build him a custom bag of chips for his production. And I said, yeah, of course I can. The requirements for the crop were as follows. That it's hot pink, family sized, named Tuco's Chips, and showed a Mexican wearing a bandana over his eyes. The first problem I had to solve was what material to make it out of. Chip bags are usually made of plastic and foil, and both are very difficult to color. I very briefly considered modifying a store-bought bag of chips, but retail bags have a glossy outer layer, which never paints well, and gluing on a design would look tacky. Plus, the prop needed to be hot pink, so... I wasn't gonna be hiding that. I really wanted to avoid paying a printing service in order to limit cost, so instead, I had the idea to use a method called screen printing. This method uses stencils to block portions of the medium getting painted, in this case the bag of chips. Now, I don't have this sort of printer, but I figured I could build an approximation. I'll make stencils out of paper, cut them out, and use an airbrush to apply ultra-thin layers of paint so you can bend and crumple the final bag without worrying about paint chips flaking off. I designed the logo to limit tiny islands of color, which would be difficult to hold down when painting in this way. This is why I opened up the hole in the O and P, so that the white portions would be connected when I later cut out stencils for each color. So the next problem was, what's the medium? I tried making a mock-up of the bag using some covering paper, and dimensions were pretty good, 8 by 12 inches. But paper isn't glossy, usually. But what about wrapping paper? But as it turns out, cheap, affordable, I just need this for one thing, sort of wrapping paper is exactly what you pay for. It soaked up moisture like crazy, and even after drying it with a heat gun and ironing it, there were a lot of wrinkles left on the paper. So, unless this was going to be a tiny set dressing level prop, it wasn't going to look great on camera. So, after much forehead rubbing, I decided to fix the problem with monies. I first went online and compared various printing services that would handle large prints. It would have to handle the entire opened up area of the bag, which was 17 by 12 inches. As of this video, the best deal I found was at Office Depot Max which offered a 18 by 24 poster print for $13, which is great. I can get two prints made. They did also offer a smaller 16 by 20 printing, but it was for the same price, so why bother? I then modified the design to size and added all the things a bag of chips would have. Barcode, descriptions, marketing, those weird circle things, etc. My one concern was that printers always need a white margin around the printing area, and their online printing service didn't say if it would scale the image to include those margins or not. So I made printable exports of the design both with and without the outer half inch of the design, loaded them onto USB, and headed out. And good news! Office Max Depot can print your design at 100% scale, and the paper is slightly larger than 18 by 24, so you don't have to worry about cropping and resizing. I left a half an inch on all sides where the paper would be glued together, and made little marks and folds for guides. I filled the mock-up using folded squares cut from some ads. For the actual props, I'm going to make one already opened, and another filled and sealed. I might use real chips in that one, but since the actual shoot using the prop is a bit away, I won't do it now. Also, the bags are just paper, so I'll line the inside with a vinyl bag to prevent any of the oil just seeping out.
I made a paper gripper for the wavy, glued portions of the bag using some scrap wood and bamboo skewers. I split the skewers down the middle by wedging a knife in and letting the wood grains do the rest. I used wood glue to affix the skewer house onto the flat pieces of wood, leaving one skewer width between each other. They were a bit short compared to the longest edge of the bag, but just sliding them along after pressing them together for a few seconds was enough to leave the grips. And that's one order of tips done. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing. I'll be tackling props like this and various odd projects in the future. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Eating on camera, how unprofessional.